What's up guys, it's your boy Enjoy here, and I'm bringing you the fastest way that I've found for farming all four materials. In this particular video, we'll be taking a look at Relic Iron, using my very own route that expands upon a popular chest run to include almost double the amount of chests and a bunch of Relic Iron nodes too. Since I'm sure you don't care for 10 minutes of stories about my grandmother finding 50 exotics here in 5 minutes before I get to the point, I'll show you this very fast and easy Relic Iron route in 3 quick easy to understand steps. First off, I'll show you exactly what you'll be pursuing in the sand dunes of Mars. Next, I'll show you the route without stopping for any nodes or entering any of the various caves, just focusing on the path that you'll be running. This is for the real Don Juans out there that know how to farm, just not necessarily what the fastest route to take is. And last, I'll show you the full route again, but simply going as fast as I can as if I were farming it normally. Enjoy it! Alright, step one. Here's what you'll be looking for on Mars. Chests and relic iron. Now step two. Here's the route that I run, and I'll keep my commentary to a minimum to keep you guys focused on what really matters here, the route itself. Alright, so we're starting out with a very well-known run. This small little area here where you're going to tuck down into two different rooms and check for a couple chests, and then there's a Vex cave across the way. Pretty well known out there, but it's just not good enough. That was the second room you should check. Then you're going to come over to this Vex cave and check in there for another chest. From there we extend the run outward a little bit. Right now we're looking for raw relic iron, as well as a couple of rare spawn chests that can spawn out here. Focus on the rock formations. That's where relic iron tends to spawn, is right along the edges of the rocks. Here's another cave that you're going to check. And there's a bunch of relic iron that can spawn along these rocks. This is probably the most lucrative cave. I tend to find chests in there, I don't know why. And sometimes there's also relic iron right out front. Make sure you look along these rock formations as well. There's a bunch of relic iron nodes here, as well as a few chest spots. Here's another cave that you're gonna have to check. Also very lucrative. And we're gonna maneuver through these rocks, just taking a look for relic iron. Normally I would jump up on the building check for some spawns up there for chests. There's another cave you're obviously going to go into. Right here I'll check upstairs. Nothing along the back wall there. Keep a nice high vantage point if, if at all possible so you can increase the amount of nodes you can see at once getting very lucky but that's mostly because I'm recording and I also didn't go inside So that was the first loop guys and step three here's the route in full detail as if I were just farming it myself couple of well-known spawns up here I almost never see this chest this was extremely lucky and rare You'll probably encounter some competition around this area, but the later parts of this run, I almost never see anyone checking those caves. And there's always a chest in there. Quick spin and look. I recommend higher sensitivity. I've kept mine low just to keep you guys from getting disoriented during the video. Let's bring it out to this area, into the open, and this is where we keep our eyes peeled for relic iron nodes, rather than chests. The chests are pretty easy to spot, but the relic iron, you kind of got to get an eye for it. But once you do, you'll find that you really don't take much time to farm up a lot of relic iron. 
These caves that no one knows about are seriously awesome. Quickly check along these rocks, get some fresh air, make sure we get a good vantage point. And we come over to my favorite cave. But I'm recording, so there's no chest in there. But I'm telling you, that's a good one. Another quick peek to make sure we didn't miss any relic iron. No dice. Make sure you're thorough in these areas. There are a lot of spawns. Yeah, right here, this is what I would normally do, is I would jump right up to the roof. Nothing in that cave either. I check in here sometimes, but I almost never see a chest in there either. And let's take another quick look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Yep. And that's pretty much the run, guys. Pretty straightforward stuff. Just make sure you're keeping an eye out for those relic iron nodes. They will slip by you, but that's how you're gonna make sure that you're getting the most relic iron per hour. If this guide helped you out, do me a solid and hit those like and subscribe buttons. Also check out my guides on the fastest routes for the rest of the materials found in Destiny. Enjoy it.